The city of Santa Barbara is working on a resolution for its budget deficit and to move forward. News Channel reporter John Palmateri joins us now live. John, some fees are going up and a proposed tax could be voted on in November. We're outside of Santa Barbara City Hall and inside the city council has been working on a number of issues, including the budget and digging itself out of a projected seven four point four million dollar budget going into the next year and they've got a number of solutions to try to make ends meet as they go forward July 1st. Some of the issues that have come up in recent months are the slowdown in hotel bed taxes and also the reduction in income from sales taxes and a big reduction in parking fees. Along with that, the city is facing rising costs in pensions, cost of supplies, and insurance. The parking department, which had been a separate fund and was recommended to be included in the main overall budget, with an effort to find savings that way. There's also a solid pushback from some boat owners who live in their vessels and did not like the 10% proposed increase on slip fees, which had been affordable living for them. We've had increases of fees of 5%, 10%, 50% over the last couple of years. Now another 10% on top of this, and this is pricing me out of the ability to live in Santa Barbara. The council asked for the slip fee issue to go back to the Harbor Commission to possibly find new ways to adjust the fees or even lower the increase, especially for the liveaboards. Other boats in the harbor, by the way, are recreational and commercial. And overall, there's 1,150 slips that are taxed. Now, the city is also going to the voters for a half cent sales tax increase. That's going to be on the November ballot. If that's approved, it will raise about $15.5 million annually or about a million and a quarter a month in the budget. That'll be used for first responders, homeless services, uh, libraries, parks and recreation, and other essential services. If that is approved by the voters in November, it'll take effect in April of next year and be able to provide some funds in April, May, and June of the fiscal year before they start a new one in July. If it's not approved, the city will again have some very serious budget challenges to face going forward. It certainly will be a topic of debate for the November election. Reporting live outside of Santa Barbara City Hall, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri.